what's up my pixel babies welcome back to my channel some of y'all may know but for those who don't i am kia and i play a game called second life and today i will be teaching you guys how i edit my second life photos on photoshop please like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video This is a free Photoshop that I have on my computer. I forgot where um, the model this is. I don't remember. I know it was the newest one because when I was paying for Photoshop, I used to pay for Photoshop and it was looking just like this. So now I don't pay for Photoshop. I have free Photoshop. So if you want to know how to get the free Photoshop, and also if you want to know how to get my brushes that I use um you can just contact me on my Instagram this is a disclaimer that I don't just play SL I play SL for fun and I love to edit so I'm giving y'all free game of on editing please do not come in my inbox harassing me to give you any free tips or tutorials or video I don't send edit videos I have a YouTube so I don't send like private edit videos and I no longer teach edit classes so keep that in mind please don't come harassing me about that but back to the video The first thing I do is I open my Photoshop and I press open and I find the picture that I'm trying to edit and I think this is the one I'm trying to edit right here. I want to go over the tools I will be using. When you're taking your pictures, make sure it's good quality pictures. I take my pictures on Black Dragon and the quality I take them in is 9k and above and I try to um, make sure that I don't have too much stuff going wrong in my picture like I try to make sure that my hair not glitching that much the more like glitches and um, imperfections you have in your picture the more you have to edit so I will be using this magnifying tool, the zoom tool, you know, just to zoom in my pictures. That's the minus, that's zooming out, and the plus is zooming in. I will also use the curvature pen tool. So how to get this one is I left click it, and then I make sure it's on this one right here. Sometimes I may use the smudge tool. Um, this is the eraser. I have my eraser on the general general brushes round soft round And depending on how big the thing is I'm erasing I change the sizes of the brush This eyedropper tool is say for instance I want a color like I want this color purple or this color pink or something like that I crop my pictures and Sometimes I have multiple ways of taking out my background I'm going to show you one of the ways today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is crop my picture. This is the size that I crop my pictures. It's perfect for Instagram, and that's how I crop my picture. And once you position your picture how you want it, you press the check or press enter and it will crop your picture for you get mm, which one of these I'm gonna use I think I want to use this one mm, right here this tool right here oh the object selection tool this one right here I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna click select subject sometimes it don't be as perfect you know it tries to get it so I'm gonna press select and mask 
and then I'm going to fix it up. So, I'm going to put the plus sign and I'm going to plus right here because I want my hair to be right. Like, you know, um, let me turn the transparency um, down a little bit because I need to see. I want to get my hair. I want to, I basically use the plus sign and I try to get every little thing that it cropped out. Let me see and you can do this to your transparency to see what's gonna be cropped out what's not you know I'm cropping out my background I want everything of me to stay basically so I'm gonna press the minus and I'm gonna get these little that try to get it as perfect as possible y'all it don't have to be too perfect um it's okay when you can't get a few things sometimes you can't get something but try to get it as um perfect as possible also you see how i just did that and it um erased too much press Control z to undo things Control z to undo things okay check one last time to make sure you got everything you need and I think we're good. So then I'm going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom. Right here. Press selection. Press new layer with layer mask. Press that. Then press OK. And it's going to take your background. I'm going to turn my background layer back on. These are my layers. Go to filter. I'm going to go to blur gallery. Fill blur. And then I'm going to just play around with the colors because I like to change the colors in my background sometimes. So this one right here in the middle, I'm going to turn it all the way to 100. Then I'm going to get this little black one right here and I'm going to bring it, you know, just bring it somewhere, wherever. It doesn't matter because I'm going to do it to my liking. So I'm going to get the one at the top and I'm going to bring it closer up. And you see that's too much for me. Like, I don't want my background looking like that. So just play with it so i'm gonna get the one in the black and i'm gonna bring it back some more hmm. and bring this one back a little bit more too and i'm gonna turn this down to seven like so just to show you a before and after not too much of nothing just happened but it's something so then i'm gonna press ok I do this with my pictures sometimes. I really do this with my pictures when I get a lot of colors. Like, um, yeah. So then I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to blur. And this one right here. And just give it a second. Yeah. So I don't want it blurred that much. I want it blurred like this much. I don't want... When I'm blurring it, I don't want you to see all these, like around my hair and stuff i want it to fade like nicely like look at 16.6 .6 compared to like this it, it looks tacky you don't want your picture to look tacky right there that's perfect you can always press preview to see before after before after before after okay so then i'm gonna press okay Okay, the next thing I do to my background is I go to image, adjustment, and then I go to curves, put this all the way to the side. You can grab this brown part and just move it around, whatever you want. I want it right here so I can see my picture. I'm going to grab the middle of the graph and I'm going to just pull it down slightly, just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to press preview, which is right here. And I'm going to see. Nah, that's too much for me. So, I'm going to go back up just a little bit. I like that. And this was preview. That's how it looks. But I had it like this so you couldn't see. But, yeah. Um. So, then I'm going to press OK. And that's pretty much all I do to my background. 
next thing I do is I start with my shadow. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna add a new layer on top of the first, um, the background copy layer. Not right here. I want it. I want the new layer to be layer number one. So you can zoom in if you need to. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get my pen. And I'm going to bring my color all the way to black. All you got to do is drag it all the way to black. I just want it black. So then I'm going to get my curvature tool that I showed you earlier. And I'm going to just get the lines of my legs. You can use as many dots as you need, y'all. Um, this is your picture. Nobody's brushing you. When I first started editing, I had to use a million dots selection only part that matters was the leg right here once you get this leg part correct you can draw the lines anywhere I, I could draw it like this you know anywhere so press left click make a selection press ok so you get your pen that's on black and you just shade Y'all, do not go in the lines like this. No. Control Z. You want to stay outside the lines. Like this. So it can just shadow a little bit. Press Control D to delete that. And say for instance, um, I don't like it. I want to add a little bit more shadow. I'm going to press Control Z and it's going to come back. And then, you know, I can, you know, add a little bit more. But I don't need that. I'm just showing you. So I'm going to press Control D. Take that away again. Can, and then I'm going to just clean it up with my eraser. So I'm going to press add a new layer. This plus sign right here next to the trash can is how you add a new layer. So I don't know if y'all know, but I'm pregnant. So I want to like put some shadow by this belly so it can like you know pop so I'm gonna come right here all the way right like, like just like that I think so I think that's how I want it yeah yes just like that once I did what I needed this all that matters I'm gonna just draw anywhere you know, but make sure when you do that, your lines are still, you know, how you need, you want it. And put left click, press make a selection. And it's going to make the selection. The only thing that matters is right here. Shade it in. Okay. Left click. And fix it up. My eraser is too big for me. I'm going to bring that down. And there you go. Now you can tell that I'm pregnant. So for the rest of the shadowing, I will be speeding up the video. I don't want it to be way too long. But you continue to do the same thing that I told you to do with the other part. Select all the parts that you want the shadow on. You know, shade it with the black and then erase it to fix it up. That's all you have to do. It's easy, y'all. I ain't making a layer for that one because... Like some of them, you don't have to make a new layer because this is right here and that was right there. It wasn't overlapping and it wasn't gonna um, mess nothing up. Now I'm gonna make a new layer because I'm about to add it right here. And okay, so this is where the smudge tool come in. You see how it's not perfect? I'm just get my smudge tool and just pull, pull it over there, make it perfect. And that's where I use the smudge tool. Y'all, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and comment some things you would like to see me do next. I want to try to do things differently, like get. Um, some subscribers pictures and do videos of me editing them I might think about doing something like that but just let me know some things y'all want to see me do next 
But yeah, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I make a new video. Also, y'all, please don't forget when the areas are close together, like your face, your neck, your hair, and all that, don't forget to make a new layer because, as you can see in this part right here, I did not make a new layer, and I wasn't going to be able to erase my neck um, shadow a little bit, so I had to redo it all over again, y'all. So, please don't forget to make new layers. So, in order to link this hole, all this shadowing and all that, what I do is, I hide the layers that I'm not trying to link. So, you can see all my shadows, y'all. So, then I left click anyone and I per press merge visible. And it's automatically going to merge all the visible layers. And that's how my picture looks with the shadows and without it. Once I'm done with my shadowing, the next thing I do is my face. So, I press the plus sign. I outline my face. So, then I'm going to left click, make a selection. Change that color to white. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, oh, let me change this layer a different color. Change it red. That's my um, you know, just let you know that that's my shadow layer. Now I'm on to my face. So I'm gonna turn this down. How you test to see if it's too much? Is that too big? Yes, that is too big. So I'm gonna go down a little bit more. That's perfect. So I'm gonna draw like a line and then I'm gonna put a few dots. I'm, I'm tripping, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like 100. That should be perfect. Yeah, and then draw a few dots in the middle. And on this side, I'm just draw a dot because. On different areas, you may need different size. So on the forehead and on the cheek right here, I can use a bigger stroke. But I'm going to go back down for this part right here. And then the nose. And then the chin area. So once I do that, I'm going to press filter, blur. And then I'm going to wait a little second till it... Blur, and I'm gonna go down to like till I see it like fade out. I think nine point two should be good for me. And then I'm gonna get my eraser, and I'm gonna um, touch up a few spots, like right here by the phone, um, right around my nose, and like my cheek area. And I want to zoom out so I can see how that look, look highlighted. And then I'm going to take that and bring the passes down to like 49. So add another plus, another layer. Then I'm going to add a little bit more highlights just on the, the main points. merge both of them layers and turn that down to like 70 i mean 83 
And let me see how that looks. Looks good. So then I'm gonna zoom back in. And let me get this eraser right here just a little bit. Alright, I'm gonna add another layer. Bring that back up to like 196. And then now it's time for me like to highlight my face. Detach. So then I'm gonna get the eraser, bring the eraser bigger, and I'm gonna just erase some of that. That's too big. But, and I'm gonna erase by my eyes, of course. Mm, like that. I'm erase by the phone. Okay. Erase all that by the ear. And. So once I do that, I'm gonna add a new layer. Zoom into the eyes, y'all. Zoom into the eyes, and I'm gonna bring this down all the way to like two. But I think that is, that's even too small. I mean, too big. So like ten, and I'm gonna draw a circle, keep going, and then draw like a U like a dot right there this is gonna make my eyes pop draw a circle like a U put like a dot right there and I'm gonna zoom that out see how that looks perfect bring that down a little bit make a new layer I think I want to add some gloss to this lip. I may or may not keep it. I'm going to bring that right down to like 20. That's my face. So I'm gonna hide all the layers, including the shadow layer. I'm gonna left click one of the visible layers, merge visible. And that's my face. And I'm gonna left click and turn that color to orange. So now the next thing I have to do is highlight. Make a new layer and highlight. So, I'm gonna get on my, get my leg. Okay, so, left click, make a selection. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the legs. So turn that color back, I mean that size back up to like 300. Make sure it's on white. And just, I think I need that to like 400. And just do what you was doing with the black shadow. Then I'm gonna make a new layer. Then I'm gonna do this side. And then I'm gonna make a new layer to shade the stomach part. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna hide the stomach layer and like the butt layer, just so I can clean up the, the layer where I shadow for the legs. 
I did this just because I could do it all in one. Y'all can do it. You can do the stomach by itself, the legs by itself, and the butt by itself. But I just decided to, you know, select the whole part and do different layers for different parts because you don't want them to overlap. So, yeah, as you see, I'm fixing all the parts in different layers. And then I'm going to make a new layer. Get this part. You know, scroll up, get these, this blue barrier. Hmm. And I'm gonna do the blue barrier, I'm gonna get two zeros. I mean, two circles. So what I did was I went right here, got that. Make sure it's on the circle, so left click, make sure it's right there. Draw a circle as big as how I want it. That's not big enough, so I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. That's big enough and put it as where I want it and then just make sure they mess it up. Okay, and just do it like that. And I really think that's it when it comes to the shadows and everything else. So I'm going to hide all my existing layers besides the ones with the highlights. Left click one visible layer, merge visible, and unhide everything else again. And then I'm going to add a new layer, but let me change the color of that old one change it to green and I'm going to add my bling so this is another brush that I use sparkle whatever she call it I just call it bling because that's what I use it for and I'll just add a little you know not too much make that a little bit bigger and make it seem like I got an earring erase that a little bit because I don't want it to look too much and then make this huge so I can add like a flash and that's pretty much it besides um, the sunlight so I get this brush and I bring it to the general general, general brushes and I'll pick my size. I think that, that was the perfect size. And I just draw some lines to myself. And that's just too big for me. So, boom, boom, boom. I do filter blur. And I blur that thing up till I can't really see the lines. And let me see if I can do it a little bit more. Yeah, that's perfect. So then I'm gonna duplicate that layer because I don't want my son that small. Hold on, Control T. Edit that to like about right there. I need to do my face, y'all. So then I'm going to hide that one, control T, I'm going to bring that one down a little bit more, but I'm going to turn it like that, yeah, perfect.
perfect. So then I'm gonna merge that down. Let me get my eraser and bring that eraser big. Like 900. No, that's too big. Like 700. Perfect. And I'm gonna lower the opacity down to like 40. And I'm gonna try to erase myself. But I'm not gonna erase myself that much. Because I do want uh, it to seem like the sun is on me. But I don't. I want my face to pop. So. It's still on there. I'm gonna lower that opacity down to like 50 or whatever your liking is. I'm gonna lower it down a little bit more for me. Erase that off. And there you go. And that's how I edit my picture. So I'm gonna press file, export, export as. export and I'll just save the picture however I want to save it um, I must have had a picture saved oh yeah I did that picture before so of course I had a picture saved with that same exact name and it looks perfect let me show you this the one I added before this video so, oh, I put the shadows in it. I put the shadows behind me when I edited it the first time. But this time, I put the shadows in front of me. Hmm. Why did I choose behind me? Let me look at my picture. Hmm. I choose in front. <laughs> I already posted the other one, though, but it's still fine. Doesn't matter same picture this is also a picture that I took this is how this is how my own picture used to look so, yeah okay bye okay that's the end of this video y'all like comment and subscribe